I'm Ryan. Some people say raising the minimum wage is nothing more than charity. I'm Ryan. Some say it's just not feasible. We'll discuss whether they are drunk or sober when we return. You know, Betty White really is the greatest golden girl. Choosy parents choose Jeff. He's so mean. <laughs> He really is. Hey Ryan, are we out of partisan again? Increasing minimum wage is not supported by economists. Who are the experts? Drunk or sober? This is drunk. Maybe half drunk. Okay. Uh, here's the deal. Uh, that's it's pretty much just a dumb assertion um, because, yeah, there are plenty of economists who don't support that. They're like, no, it'll crush the economy. There's also plenty of economists who say it'll be great for the economy. So, like, a bit of a wash with that, we'll say. And the, the reason is there are, there are about a billion variables, and each of those billion variables is based on a billion others, and half of those things are people. And people are crazy and stupid and do things that aren't in their own interest all the time. Like, it is just so convoluted and so stupid that we think we can look at the economy mm. and narrow it down to one thing. Mm -hmm. Minimum wage. Oh my god, that's going to crush everything. No, it's not. And you know what? There's lots of single things that won't crush anything. But maybe it will. The thing is that we really don't know and the experts they are divided. And this isn't like climate change experts divided. This is actually things you can find scholarly papers on where people are like, this is bad, this is good. Mm -hmm. it's, it, so the idea that economists don't support it, it's half true, but it's, <laughs> half, it's half wrong because economists do support it. Mm. Uh, prominent ones, Nobel Prize winning ones, they do. Also, on that same category, they don't. Hmm. Um, they, basically, I think what people do in this scenario is they look for an argument, they look for an economist that supports what they already believe, and they just like, yeah, that's it. See, economists are on my side. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. Like, you're cherry picking. That's all. Next round. So I call this fun drunk. Uh, <laughs> you stole almost every single idea I was going to say. Uh, I call this fun drunk because this is the like, I like stuff kind of guy. Yeah. And you find that stuff you like. Sure. Right. That's what happens here, right? As you said, you're going to find the article that says, this is the stuff I like. I'm drunk. And see, I like it. Right. So, mm -hmm. so it's fun drunk. And, and you're absolutely correct. I mean, they are split. You can find anything that supports the fact that it's good and supports that it's bad. Uh, I'm going to be very specific for everyone out there today. And I'm going to say, forgive me for using something from 2013. I apologize. <laughs> but I thought it was still relevant and, 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 and pretty creative. So, the University of Chicago's Booth School of Business in 2013 had a 10-person panel to discuss... Probably multiple questions, but they asked at least one very pointed question. Okay. They asked at the time, these 10 panelists, if we were to increase the minimum wage to $9 an hour, keep in mind it was 2013, sure. would it be noticeably harder to get a job? <laughs> right? So are people going to stop hiring? Are people going to start firing? It's going to be noticeably harder. Uh, keep in mind, this panelist, I'm going to call them economic experts. Okay. All right. You can check me if I'm wrong and say they're not experts in your opinion. That's fine. But they are professors from such schools as MIT, Yale, Harvard, Berkeley, the University of Chicago. So you had 10 of these people, and they asked them that question. If raising the minimum wage to $9 an hour would make it noticeably harder to find a job. Okay. And what they found is they were split right down the middle. <laughs> All the panelists. So here's the deal. Some said yes. Some said no. Some said, I don't know. Hmm. So the yeses and the noes were equal. And then you had the I don't knows. It's interesting. All right. So 10 people. My favorites are one person said, uh, yes, I think so. I'm just not sure how noticeably harder it will be. Noticeably was the word. Interesting. Uh, one person said, uh, 
No, I don't think so. I've never seen a study that actually proves this to be true. There's been several studies, and there's been studies that contradict those studies. Sure. And then someone said, I think it would be easier, but we are in an economic downturn right now. Which goes to your point, mm. which you stole before <laughs> me, which is there's too many variables. It's just capitalism. Right. <laughs> She said, there's an economic downturn. Well, that sounds like a variable you'll have to take into account. Yeah. None of this is done in a vacuum. You don't just raise to $15 and say, well, that's what's going to happen. Everything's fixed. And so, to your point, I'm going to discuss some variables. Ugh. All right, so some things to consider. And I do think that people is the number one. <laughs> the first question I'd ask is, are consumers optimistic or pessimistic? Mm. Who knows? Okay. Is it easier or harder to get a loan? Is it a, is it a school loan? Is it a home loan? Is it a business loan? Did the cost of goods go up mm. to the business? Did they pass that cost of goods on to the consumer? Are the consumers saving money? Are they investing money in the stock market? Is what they're doing now sending a ripple effect over to Europe and Asia? Do their consumers behave similarly or dissimilarly? It doesn't matter. How about but interest <coughs> rates on those loans too? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Everything changes. It comes on back to America and we rinse and repeat. Mm. The, I'm not an e uh, economist. I'm not. But I just came up with those variables off the top of my head of things I've read. <laughs> all right? Imagine all the things that actually exist beyond that. Mm. This is stuff that people have to take into account. It's very difficult. So when someone tells you, and this is my biggest frustration, oh, uh, yeah, it's uh, raising the minimum wage. It's economics 101. <laughs> You know what Economics 101 is? What's that? It's economics without all those variables. <laughs> Why? Because it's simple. They're like, yeah, you have a guy, he goes to a store. The store increases, increases the cost. What does the guy do? <laughs> Thanks, Economics 101. Yeah. All right, now let's add all those variables in. And, <laughs> and then what you end up with is Economics PhD. That's where we live today. And you don't think that our president or our legislative branch or anybody else in our government would love our economy to thrive right now, that there's a bias to hold us down? Right. When it's probably singularly the most important thing that will keep you elected the, the is idea a strong that, economy. The idea that someone would want the American economy to be bad is crazy. Right. Turns out it's just really difficult. <laughs> Last call. Cheers. Cheers. Madam Brewmaster. Next talking point.